You guys know by now that I love a good Matang deck because it just accelerates to anything. But there's one Pokemon that I think a lot of people looked at that I think it's time we look at today. It's Copper Raja EX. This Pokemon has literally everything that you need for a good attacker. 300 HP and the Bronze Body ability, giving it an effective 330 on a stage 1. And an attack that just does 260 straight. Granted, you did 30 damage to your bench. But there's nothing that Serena can't help mitigate. But ultimately, we just want Copper Archer to swing every single turn, taking massive knockouts and being hard to knock out at the same time. And the mass of this card is actually pretty decent. Throw in a Choice Belt and you're KOing the likes of Arceus V, Star Giratina. Throw on a Max Belt. Then you're Okoing stage 2 EXs with 310 HP. So let's see how the big elephant fares with Matang by its side. And a quick shout out to our sponsors, PDCGL Store, where you can buy codes to bling out your decks using code FDW for 5% off and what's not. But you can buy and sell collectible Pokemon cards live. And they're even giving you £10 off your first purchase using my special link. Links to all sponsors are in the description below. But for now, let's get going. Now, because we have Serena, we don't have the privilege of Greninja to help get us out of these kinds of hands. But I do have a bit barrel line just to make sure we uh, yeah, I've prized my bit barrel. <laughs> anyway, waffling aside, let's get a Mew down. Definitely a Mew. I'm going to have to be an aggressive Ultra Baller here and just try and get a little bit more going, at least for the next time. We're playing Chen Pao, which can want to KO us, man. So uh, uh, we're doing it for weakness. I know that, but we're KOing it anyway. Doesn't really matter that much. Either way, we're going to throw the Zamazenta down and end our turn. Do you need a bit more? That said, if they just pass, they do lose because our Stampede will loco the fridge back. So you never know. Could get a donk. Also, let me just turn on the sound. There we go. Go. I'm gonna go for a buddy buddy puffin. I keep forgetting to turn the sound on, man. It's just silly. Also, I love the color scheme of the um, of the copper raja. It's, it's copper, right? I know, I know. It, it probably took you like, a minute to figure that out. It took me donkeys because I never paid attention. But I realized when I was setting the color of my background to the copper, like oxidized copper color, I was like, oh yeah, let's go to oxidize it. That's so cool. Copper raja. It's so nice. It's got the ability bronze body. I'm loving the theming. It's almost like Pokemon. Uh, they, they do that, you know, that's the whole point. <laughs> Listen, let me have my fun. All right, Greninja down. That's a problem. Need to start evolving these Matangs ASAP. They go for a vessel and they get themselves a lightning and a water, of course. In comes Concealed Cards. They get a water on the Fridgebacks. Probably going to retreat to... No, I would hold, right? Yeah, why would you attach to the Fridgeback? Hold on. Why have you not got any Pokemon or any attackers down? I, I guess they're just like going in on the Greninja, but this is an overbench. Uh, maybe they expect me to take a KO, but wouldn't it just be better for me to not then? <laughs> Until I get a KO on Greninja, just theoretically speaking. Okay, that said, the hand isn't really great. Actually, I'm going to poke stop because if I get rid of a Pokemon, I can just play the rod out and there you go. So I can actually play this. <laughs> Got to get the fresh water set. I can play this out and I was hoping to get one more card, but no, I actually just basically gave me the same thing. Iono, let's go. Come on. I didn't play Malifi because I'm a dumb dumb. Don't get me punished for that. There's a Matang and a Copper Archer. We should be able to get a swing here, you know. I mean, we, we should. We have to hit the Metal Maker, but we could just come straight in with a Copper Archer. Oh, okay. All right. We're talking now. We're talking. Greninja is now less effective. Only KOing the one Beldum, so I think I can just take the KO here. Oh no, but if I attack, then the Greninja could just take out both Matang because of the damage output, so I think I hold. I think it actually makes sense for me to hold here. Yeah, I'm not going to take the KO because if I take KO, I put 30 damage and everything. Greninja's having a field day, but if I just pass, then they currently cannot get any attackers out, so they can't Oko my Copper, and uh, I think they'll probably just end up attacking with a Greninja anyway, and I'll just take it out then. Yeah, that seems about right. Either way, there's an Ultra Ball. They get themselves a big barrel. Gonna evolve, of course, and they can seal cards here. Focus stop. Oh, losing their backs, but they do get their retrieval. I'm going to bet they might not have it. Is it Brick Pal that we're seeing here? Let's see what they retreat into. A Bidoof. Yeah, there's no way they have it now. And the boss in hand, it's class. I could just bring this up. That said, they can recover the Greninja quite comfortably. So it would have been nice to get, you know, a little bit more action there. Is it worth me getting Bidoof down? No, it's not. It's not worth it. It isn't. Not, not when I need Serena to heal and stuff. Let's throw that here. Let's go like that. We'll go for a Metal Maker again. Try and hit something we don't. Go for a boss. Bring that up. Then go for Mew. Would be nice to get an evolution. No evolution, unfortunately. But another boss, so that's nice. But we'll go for the Nosequake. We are vulnerable now, and I love the fact that Zamazenta just doesn't take any damage. <laughs> that's like, bro, what are you doing? It's not me. I am, nah, nah, nah. I am him. But in all seriousness, there is still a great Greninja risk here right now. And it's not unheard of, Chen Pao, just you reusing Greninja so comfortably. So I'm not out of the woodwork. That said, that's an Arita down and some energy. A terrible Pokestop for them. We are getting a little lucky, huh? Wait, there's a Poffin, and they fail it. Nest Ball, are they gonna finally get Chen Pao down? They're the loser! What? Bro, this is legit ranked as well. Okay, lots of teching. That's really cool. Okay, can't hate, man. So I think that's the ability where it basically has two EXP shares built in. Oh, no. You can move two energy else in this Pokemon. Oh, so it's actually, it acts as an EXP share in the active to, uh, 
give it to two. Is it two of any Pokemon? Move up to two energy cards from this Pokemon to one of your bench. Okay, so it just moves two energy off it onto another. So it just preserves energy. Right. And then it's 60 plus 20 for each. So they need a heavy amount in order to get a KO on me. I'm assuming they're just going to retreat it for the sake of uh, just giving me something to knock out. I, I would keep the Fidgetbacks though. You have three Fidgetbacks in play. Like, you don't need that many. <laughs> this is just a simple case of overdoing it. All right, let's go for the fresh water set. Let's go for another Metal Maker here. We failed it, but that's fine. This is what I like. I like the fact that you can with Metal Makers because you don't need five energy in play. Turn two, you know what I mean? It is a nice thing. Might as well go for the Serena as well. That said, I maybe should have just serena and then saved the water set. That doesn't matter. Do I KO Bit Barrel? I think I do, right? Yeah, you KO Bit Barrel every single time here because they, they can't, they're dead drawing. They, they need fine cards and Bit Barrel's just going to give them more options and we don't want that. That's how I've, oh, there's my one. That's how I've learned to beat Gen Power, which is KO the barrels as much as you can. They're gonna get back to Calibre out. They're gonna get Gen Power. Obviously, there's scenarios where you need to KO one or the other, but I think your main, your main target is actually more the barrel than the Frigibacks, which is why you can see, like, free, free the barrel lines in Gen Power nowadays. Sometimes, of course, because it's just that important of a card. Ah, they go for a counter catch here. They're gonna try and trap us again. Does force an Iono out of me. I'll, I'll admit that. Metal Maker so it can attach to any Pokemon? Yeah, so we, we can just retreat this with a good Metal Maker here. That's perfectly fine as well. There's Beldum. Useless cards. I am going to Metal Maker first, actually. And there we go. Instant hit. Instant hit, baby. I might actually come up with the Zami. Oh, no, Zami doesn't hit for weakness there, so I won't come up with Zami. Do I? I don't know, though. Like, I don't know if I do here because, again, they're dead drawing. They're not finding cards they need. So, and they will eventually, won't they? Yeah, maybe the sake of board state, I'm going to Iono. Um, I still don't know if that's correct. No, I think I'm just going to just gonna hold off on it. Yeah, just, just take another KO. Hold off on it and see where that takes me. But there's that fillet or Phillips memento, at least giving a retreat option to a Frigibax here. And I feel bad. This is just, honestly, this is just the opponent overbenching. That's what's going on here. They just overbenched. They overdid it and they, they're being punished for that. Also, you can't just bring Chen Pao out because I will just destroy the thing. Yeah, it's really cool. They poke stop again, lose another Bax, but they do get Rod. So Greninja, you maybe get Greninja. You, yeah, just get two backs and a Greninja back, right? There's no way to catch up apart from taking multiple prizes. But whenever you bring Greninja and take these multiple prize cards, you're still leaving a 330 HP copper Rod in the active. Like, you're gonna have to deal with it eventually. And then a Zamazenta afterwards. I just don't see a way out for them. Yeah, it's mad. Uh, to get rid of Rare Candy and... Oh, well, they definitely have the backs and you don't get rid of Candy if you didn't have it. I'm hoping now that taking out the barrel has paid off. I'm gonna do Bench Chen Pao there. Put your backs. Are you gonna retreat to the Chen? Okay. Alright, maybe just to get some energy to attack. How much do they need? Do they need... Is it six energy? Yeah, because five is 300, but thanks to Bronze Body, they actually need six energy in order to KO me, not five. Which can be a, a massive difference, man. Really? Are you telling me I only have two energy? Oh, that is rough. That is rough. Oh, that is so rough. They're gonna Hailblade me for what? 150? They failed it. Oh my god. Yeah, this is a wrap. It's GG. <laughs> All right, well, let's let's go for the Serena heal. It is GG, pretty much. Uh, I don't know how they could they could, they could could uh, find their way around this. Maybe try and trap up a, a Serena or something. But just be on the safe side. I'm going to put an energy on it, actually. And I'm not going to iron it. Again, I refuse to. Look at this. They, they're just dead drawing. Killing that big barrel has just really given us a good run in here. And by the way, you're starting to see why I've got the 70 HP Beldums and not the 61. Because, yeah, the damage can really wrap up over time, with the, even with the Serena heals. And you, that, that extra damage counter can make a whole difference when playing. So I, I prefer the 70s to the 60s. If you're wondering, there's the boss gonna try to stick up Serena, but we were prepared for that. It's a pass, it's a retreat, and it's a very easy GG. But I think more on my opponent's side. I think they just overdid it. I've been there many a times, my friend. Don't you worry about it. I, I carried my own belt. <laughs> I've got to heal. That's funny. Goes to show that they can be punishing if you don't pay attention. They can have their consolation prize. We get the dub. Let's go. Charizard. Of course. You can just tell by the sleeves, can't you? All right. The hand, though, is kind of funky. Kind of vibing with it. Do we have? We don't have Bit Barrel, so I'm going to get a Mew down. We always don't have Bit Barrel when we need it the most. It's fine. It's fine. It's just there for support. It's not there for anything else. End my turn, and let's see what we can do. Hopefully, we can be a bit oppressive, you know? Just get very aggressive KOs going. That's kind of what I want. In fact, I'm thinking of getting rid of the third Ar So I, I played two Arvin in here, so I just have, like, a higher out to max belt. But I'm tempted to get rid of, uh, just go down to the one, like usual, and then just go for, like, an extra research. Because there's so many... I'm seeing more Arvins than researches, and I kind of like research more in the early turn. Because you just have a lot of recovery anyway, so you can just discard a lot. There's an... Ooh! Okay. That's nice. That's really nice. So we're going to be good against Zard early, but very bad late game because of, like, the Radiant Zard and stuff, so we need to capitalize. We need to set up. That's why I was hoping for the Big Barrel, because that really would have done it for us. Either way, they get themselves an Arvin here to get the Poffin, and of course the Forest Seal Stone on top. There you go. They go for their Poffin now. They get themselves a Cleffa. Of course, they can go for the Cleffa draw. They get a Pidgey. Are they going to call for Family? No, they're going to retreat in Cleffa. Yeah, perfectly correct. Ultra 
ball as well. What? Uh, oh, you get rid of another one? Why are just holding on to that? I know it thins your hand down to increase your grasping draws and also you can get yourself another Charmander down so if a boss KO it, then you're not going to be in trouble. Um, Charmeleon, what are you doing? Are you using your stone now? I guess it's fine, right? You just get another Puffin. Cleffa probably draw into your pieces anyway. You're kind of banking on that Cleffa draw quite a bit though. Also, I kind of want to hit this Pidgey, but I need to get the things going, man. I need to get my, I need to get my uh, Matangs out. That seems to be the one thing that holds this deck back a lot, is just not being able to get your Matangs. Right. Well, with that said, I am going to go for this and this. I can't, unfortunately, go for the boss, because I need to keep this Ultra Ball, man. Let's go for the first Matang here, and we are going to accelerate with it. Ah, oh, we fail it. Oh, no. I have to attach Max Belt, so I'm going to throw it here. Now I'm going to restart, see if we get anything. Eesh. Okay, not great. Do get a Zamazenta out, though, so I'm just going to hold off. Yeah, terrible turn for us because we had an Arvin where I think I would have preferred a research there, man. But the turn afterwards, we can definitely do some work. Come up with Zamazenta, maybe go for a swing. Bit nervous about the Mew, though. They, that is going to be an easy KO for them, and they probably will go for it because that's, like, my one way out of this. Rare Candy straight into Pidgeot. They could very well just... What? Rare Candy into Zard without even using Quick Search? Yeah, they're just going to boss up my Pidgeot, my Mew and take it out. There's just no way they don't do that. But I do actually have decent Oscar Swing with Zamazenta. I, I just have no draw. Oh, you see the big barrel, man? Oh, God, it's always in important games when I prize that 1-1 one, one line. It's almost like it's trying to come at me. It's like, hey, Sean, you need that, don't you, in this game? How about I prize it? Anyway, they go for a quick search and they boss, as expected. The Cuffin! Did the Max Belt scare you that much? I'm not even wanting to... I'm still 2 ko in regardless. Okay. Um, interesting. Interesting. You, you've given me my draw, mate. That's what you've done. You've given me a chance. Don't think I agree with that. But then again, right, let's be real. I am getting rid of the rod. Who cares? I, my opponent now has a pretty good advantage here because I want to be early turn dominant and I'm just not right now. So let's just go for Metal Maker. I have to get some sort of hit. Okay, that's good. That is nice. Maybe I could take, try and try and reuse some Zamazentas for the time being. Get a couple more rods and go from there. But that, it really depends what I get off this Mew, man. And oh my God, that is terrible. What the hell? Okay, sure thing. Thanks, mate. Appreciate that. I uh, hate you and I want this to end. I, I, I'm in pain. Look, the good news is if they KO the Mew, I can at least come up with Zamazenta and swing again, charge up a Copper Raja, you know. But my god, three Pokemon off of a Mew is just terrible. <laughs> this set doesn't even have the thin supporter line. Oh, they go for a Turo, but okay, they don't get rid of the Zard. I think it would have been better to Turo the Zard, no? I guess you get rid of that liability that I can take out late game, so it does make sense. Oh, I guess they feared the Cuff at Max Belt, because I could just boss up Pidgeot and just Oko it, which is probably a bigger threat. So, yeah, I get it. Now they're probably going to boss up Mew. Oh, no, they can't. They just played a Turo, so they can't do that. They can if they play Prime Capture, though, which they might, to be fair to you. Let's see. They quick search. No, nope, they just go straight for a burning darkness. Right. Um, I, I'm not confident. I can't lie. My confidence is pretty thin right now. And we get a puffin. That's nice. It's a manaphy. I don't need you right now. I need my draw supporters, man. We have all of them are here, bro. Look, even, I, I even added Cypher Maniac for extra like metal maker hits. Bro, they just don't want to turn up. Okay, nice though. That's a nice one. Let's go for that. Okay, I'm in a metal maker. Come on, just give me a one hit. Let's let's go. Oh, yes. Um, I will actually throw one on the Mew as well, because you can attack. Cheeky late game KO on Zard is always fun. Fun. And there we go. I don't care. Cypher Maniac do one. I'm drawing a better hand now. All right, I'm going to rods and get myself a Zamazenta back. I think I want to get my Zamis. I get my Zamis and reuse them a little bit. Also, sure. Let's throw a cuff and down. Let's, let's attach to it. I'm going to retreat and just go with Copper Raja now. And just hit a 260. Take a KO and see where we go from there. All right. Okay. This is all about Zamazenta now, I think. We need to get Zamazenta out and just try to offset the price trade. But they just have such easy... They, they can easily win in three turns. So... They look at the price trade, they do just win because it's Charizard and Charizard always wins. But they are two bosses down, mind you. So if they can't boss as much, if they boss this turn, then they have to deal the Copper Rages. Maybe then I... Don't, no, I think I still do give them... Oh, they Eri! God's sake! Forgot about Eri. That's one rod down. And that's actually my last rod. So, uh, yeah, that was a painful Eri. But at least we got our Summer Center back to give us an option. They are ultra ball here and they're going to get themselves Charizard now, of course. Good thing is Charizard will not be able to one-hit KO me, but it will be able to two-hit KO me. And we need to be ready for that. I think regardless, Charizard's 2 8 KOing. So it's it's interesting. I don't know. I, I still think this Mew in play is probably the reason we're going to lose, if I'm honest with you. Love to have it. Maybe I re maybe you replace that um, Cypher Maniac with a Penny or Thornton. Uh, I think Thornton looks nice. Just to kind of change the Mew into like a Cuffin. But then I think the Penny makes more sense because you're better off picking it up than trying to replace it with a discarded Pokemon because you might not have the Pokemon in discard power and you might need to get it up in that turn and you have it and you'd want a Penny instead. And I think 
that's a better use case. But here's to hoping they just have prized a boss or something. That's kind of what I'm hoping for here. Because we could genuinely win. We could. And now I wish I had the max belt because I'd love to be able to get a boss KO on Pidgeot, man. He wasn't dead drawing so early. Well, shoulda, woulda, couldas. They get the Radzar down, and that's the big threat, which is why I need to get Zamazenta down eventually, that is. And I could also actually return the KO that. But, um, okay. Let's first off start with the elegant heal here. It's always nice. And I think I go for a... Oh, do I research or do I... No, I'm going to research. I'm going to research here. And there's the Zamazenta out. That's nice. We'll evolve to you. I think I'm just manually attach to you. I'm not going to Metal Maker because I don't want to run out of energy. That's what I'm worried about. Like, if I'm going to attack... How many energy have I used? That's three, six, and... Okay, that's eight out of 15. No, 14, I think. So we still have enough to charge up a Zam. What if I Zam boss the Radiant Zard? I think I have to get rid of Radiant Zard, right? Or what if I just do it with the Copper Raja uh, EX? Oh, no, but then they could just... Huh, I need to think here. Oh, I still think I'm in a bad spot, if I'm honest with you. Oh, well, we'll see. There's an energy on the Radzard. And the Arvin here. We get Rare Candy and Max Belt. Quick search. Are they going to just commit energy to the Radzard and retreat attack? That would be a bit costly. I don't think they would do that. I don't think they would. Oh, this is where I need Max Belt, man. We could win. We could Zamazenta into this. KO the Charizard. If they don't get the boss KO, then I can just boss KO Pidgeot with the Max Belt. But it's not happening. That Turo for the Luminion. Has just given that, uh, removed that opportunity for me as well. This is just why Zard's so good, right? Because you can just remove the options your opponent would have against you by just having the outs to play any card every turn. Either way, there's that Burning Darkness for the KO. And I've got to think now, man. I've got to think. Do I? Oh, man. Um, Do I? Oh, Iona could be nice. There's Zam. We have free energy in deck, so we should hit it. Maybe Iona could do the job for us. It's just that the moment we KO, if we boss KO that Radiant Charizard, but it, it doesn't matter then, right? Because they have boss for game anyway, so I should remove... If they have boss for game, they have it. So I should remove any thoughts of, oh, they're going to boss me. Because if they have it in the game, they're going to have it. It's going to happen. So I shouldn't think about that. I should instead think about how I'm going to win as if they don't have boss. And I think it's Zamazenta, then boss up Radzard, and then... Oh, God. How many bosses do I have? I have one boss left, so I could boss boss. Take out this with the Zamazenta, come up with Copperaja, boss up or KO the Radzard, whatever's in the active, and then boss again for game. Assuming they can't boss me, which means this time I own them. All right, let's Metal Maker. I have to hit the Zam, though. I should hit it, I think. Because I am looking at pretty much all of my deck. So I, sh I should hit. Yeah, I should definitely be hitting here. Well, we did get one. Two would be the, the final pieces. Uh, what about retreat? That's what I'm... I could get stuck. They're not going to boss stick me, though. Boss KO me. Being stuck isn't a problem. So I then... I'm going to I'm gonna heal quickly. But then I, then I just Iono, right? Just Iono to at least reduce their combo out. And then come in with the Zam. And then just pretty much pray. 220. Let's see if we can make something happen here. Oh, if we just had to set up early on, man, we'd be talking. But it's just a bit on the awkward side here. Well, they promote the Pidgey. And if they have boss game, they'll, they'll play it now. They will play it. And it's not uncommon for Zard to do this. So, or maybe I should have saved an energy now, right? Because I could have, if, you know, hypothetically speaking, I don't think it will happen. Well, it won't happen. I don't know. I could have actually, if they KO my Zamazenta, just attack with Mew for game. <laughs> I think I regret that now because I actually only have, I don't think I have any energy left. If I'm correct. Oh, they're going to maybe get rid of a Pokemon. I'll get rid of Serena now. That's fine. Wait, do I have, en wait, do I have en enough energy to, to copy with the Mew? Oh, this is just weird, right? Because here's the thing. They're going to retreat and KO me here. If I KO that Radzard, they can KO my Copper Raja. Like, it, they hit 330, which is exactly the number. So I can't tank it, unfortunately. Oh, why does just, why does it have everything? It's outrageous. Right, let me check my deck, see what options I've got going on here. I only have the one energy. I have the boss. What if I just, oh, I have to KO Zard though. Yeah, because they'll just, if I boss anything up, they're just going to retreat into Radzard and KO me. Yeah, I think, I think we lose. I think we lose by, literally by, by a hair. Oh, if we just had the max belt on this, we would have, we could have bossed the game. Oh, man, that really does suck. No boss there. Oh, it's unfortunate. And we are just going to have to retreat. KO this and then just get hit by Zard for exactly 330 because of that one prizer. And uh, unfortunately, that's the exact amount of damage they need to win. God, if this Pokemon was just as, as similar as 170 plus 30 for each prize, this would be a different game, but nope, unfortunately not. Are you are you BMing? Sod that. This is a problem with you Charizard players, yeah? yeah? Sitting there, yeah? oh, look at me. I'm playing best deck in format. I'm going to take my time. Get out of it. If you win, just do the job, you know, do the deed, man. Don't need to savor the taste of your victim suffering. Anyway, that was Charizard. <laughs> I did want another game because I was enjoying this, but unfortunately, as we all know, PDCGL went down, and that honestly gave me a panic attack. I thought my job was done. So I couldn't get into any more games, unfortunately, but... But it was a good laugh playing this deck, man. If I had any suggestions, maybe cut out the Cypher. That was me being a bit too techy. And uh, maybe bring in another Rod. 
um, or go for a, I, I wanted to do it, but I cut it out and add a rigid band. That rigid band could have changed the title of that Charizard game as well. But ultimately, it was good fun to play. It was a laugh. And we're going to leave it there. Copper Raja, a thumbs up from me. And a huge thank you to the channel members for supporting the channel. If you want to become a member yourself, click the join button down below to see all the perks and all the tiers where you can get exclusive content and the like. But we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for the support, guys. See you later.